why don't you say to your neighbor, Happy New Year? Tell them, I'm happy you made it. <laughs> and I'm sure many have joined us virtually, so it would be a good idea to wave at those joining us virtually and say, Happy New Year, brothers and sisters. Happy New Year. Glory be to God. Our theme for the very first month, the month of January, is divine mandate. And the topic for the message is made for praise. <laughs> Psalms 150 verse number 6. Psalms 150 verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Now praise ye the Lord. Let your hallelujah be a resounding hallelujah. Made for praise. The day a product ceases to fulfill its purpose, that's the day it becomes useless and thrown away. Everything that has bread is made for praise. That's why our text one more time says, let everything that had bread praise the Lord. I'm talking to those who has bread. The Bible says, if you have bread, then you praise the Lord. Why is that so? Well, with bread, you can still eat bread. The dead cannot eat bread. Oh, is somebody here who can still eat bread? Come on, give the Lord a really big, big clap. Hallelujah. Now, with bread, you can still be the best, but it's over for the dead. With bread, you can still give bath. For the dead, no more bath. With bread, you can still breastfeed. No breast left for the dead. With bread, you can still build. The dead is housed in the grave. With bread, you can still bounce. But the dead is dead. With bread, you can walk the length and breadth. The dead is at a dead end. With bread, you can still begin again. The dead is at the end. With bread, you can still do all things. The dead can do nothing. Therefore, let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. The birds sing, the mountain and the hills break forth singing, the trees clap their hands. Why shouldn't I praise the name of the Lord? One more time, let everything that has bread really, really, really praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no need for any product that is not fulfilling purpose. The microphone that cannot produce sound is useless. What's the use of a car that cannot move? And why should anyone live who will not praise the Lord? The living is made to praise God. When you refuse your purpose, you forfeit your existence. It was easy to grant the request of Samson to die. In Judges 16 verse 30, Samson said, God, I want to die. And God said, so be it. So Samson died. But God will not grant the request of Elijah to die. In 1 Kings 19, 1 to 5. Elijah said, I'm not better than my fathers. I want to die. God said, no, you are not going to die. Rather, I will feed you. I will strengthen you. What's the difference between an Elijah and a Samson? Samson was helped by God to kill a thousand with the job bow of an ass. I wonder how any human being could have concluded that that kind of a victory came from him because 1,000 people you just you just need five to carry one leg five to carry the other leg and ten to hold the neck and he's a dead man but God froze all the 1,000 people and then he just was just killing them and killing them and killing them but what did Samson say Samson said heap on, upon heap I Samson I kill 1,000 with a job one of an ass. I, Samson, kill. I, Samson, kill. Everything about Samson was I, was I, was I. So when he asked to die, God said, there's no need for you here because you can't praise God. 
But Elijah said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Israel, he knew how to praise God. And so when he asked to die, God said, no, there are not too many people praising God. You got to stay here. How many people will praise the Lord this year? Because you are made to praise God. As I conclude, it's going to be short as you can see. In 2024, make up your mind to continually praise the Lord. It's crucial. That is what entitles you to continue to breathe. Because the one who is breathing has to praise God. Now, if he chooses not to praise God again, then God may cease the breath. Because whenever a product refuses to put to use the purpose for the existence, then there's no need for the person. So, Proverbs 15, verse 8, will be the last scripture before we get up. The sacrifice of the wicked is an ab abomination to the Lord. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. Why praise God that you have not surrendered your life to? There's no need. The first praise you can offer God is, Lord, take my life. Take my hand. Take my head. Take my feet. Take my voice. Take everything. At that point, your offering of praise is then acceptable. So if you are here and you are yet to surrender your life to Christ, what a great day, what a great time to do so. Because everything that has bread must praise the Lord. Now, I don't know how many people still has bread. But if you do, you want to rise up and really praise the Lord. Now go ahead and praise the Lord. Let somebody praise the Lord. Let somebody praise the Lord. Let somebody praise the Lord. Somebody who can still eat bread, praise the Lord. Somebody who can still be the best, praise the Lord. Oh yes, go ahead, go ahead. Somebody who can still bounce, come on, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Somebody who can still walk the length and the breadth, come on, praise the Lord. Somebody who can begin again and end well, praise the Lord. Somebody who can do all things through Christ, come on, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Now lift your right hand or left or two hands above and say, I'm made to praise you, O Lord. Please strengthen me to give you the best of praise in 2024. Go ahead, talk to him. I'm made to praise you, O Lord. Please strengthen me to give you the best of praise in 2024. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me to give you the best of praise. This year, give me the strength to praise you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Once again, if you are here, you've not given your life to Jesus Christ, you're just coming to church. The fact that you are in church doesn't mean you are in Christ. There are many people who are in church, but they are not in Christ. What's the use of your praise? Begin your praise by surrendering your life to him. So if you are here you are in the virtual church, just indicate, we just we pray for you, and then you will begin well this year. If, is there anyone like that in the house or in the virtual church? I can't see you in the virtual church, but if you are there, you want to surrender, surrender to Jesus. The media will show you, you know, the number to, to call, but just lift your hands to him. He can see you where you are and say, Lord, save my soul. I surrender my life to you. I know I'm a sinner, but now I come to you. Wash away my sin. Cleanse me completely and accept me, oh God, into your family. In the name of Jesus, if there be anyone surrendering to you, Lord, Father, please save their souls. In the name of Jesus. And for every one of us, oh God, in this house, the strength to praise you like never before. Give to us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So that this year we'll praise you like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Now one more time, you go ahead now. I'm giving a big praise. And then you may please be seated. Hallelujah.